I think Hillary's tired. I do. When I saw when I saw Hillary at the press conference sitting down with the police, with the Democrat appointed police chiefs, pretending she's pro police, it was one of the most pathetic press conferences that I've ever, ever seen. What do you mean? Well, first of all, she looks sick. That was America's mayor. Sorry, one time mayor of an American city and Trump surrogate Rudy Giuliani on Fox News this morning, questioning Hillary Clinton's health. This is not new in the Trump campaign. It started this month with a video portraying Hillary Clinton as a stuttering, short-circuiting robot. A week later, Trump questioned Clinton's strength and stamina. And last week, his national spokeswoman, someone who is not a medically trained doctor, Katrina Pearson, she offered her own medical diagnosis. She has said that she doesn't have the strength or the stamina for a very long time. That part is nothing new. What's new are the other reports of the observations of Hillary Clinton's behavior and mannerisms, uh, specifically with what you just showed in, the, in those previous clips, as well as her dysphagia, the fact that she's fallen. She has had a concussion. Well, I, hold hold on. On top of all this, uh, the Trump campaign has been getting some direction from the hand on the end of this proctology exam the conservative media, like the Drudge Report, which this month posted an old photo of Hillary Clinton with the headline, quote, Hillary conquers the stairs. And also, Steve Bannon's former employer, Breitbart, attacking the media for staying, quote, strangely silent on this issue. And then there was Sean, I never claimed to be a journalist, Hannity, who brought out the Fox News medical A-team, his phrase, this month for a full Clinton physical. And to make it seem legit, Hannity brought props. Well, you know, the picture that you showed as she's going up the stairs uh, speaks a million words. So is she really fatigued? Is she uh, dehydrated? One of the main reasons why she fell in 2012 and had the concussion was severe dehydration. They're holding her and going up the stairs, so she may be really dehydrated. She may have arthritis. She may have back pain. She may have fallen again that we don't know. So there are a lot more questions that's unanswered. Well... As it turns out, we can buy costumes, too. This Sunday, Rudy Giuliani backed up these wild assertions with the one source of medical knowledge no one should ever question, the Internet. Her campaign and a number of people defending her saying there, there's nothing factual to the claims about her health uh, and well, that, that, that's online. speculation at best. Well, so go online and put down Hillary Clinton illness. Take a look at the videos for yourself. So, taking our cue from that helpful tip, from Mayor Giuliani, we decided to jump right in on the old internet machine here. We looked up Hillary Clinton illness, and we found multiple articles debunking these wild-eyed lunatic conspiracy theories. And while we were moseying around on the internet, we also thought, hey, let's see what's up with this Rudy guy. So we Googled Giuliani dementia and came up with Giuliani seriously maybe suffering from mental dementia from the medical experts at something called the Ring of Fire, who have about as much medical expertise as we do. Maybe so, yes. Alex. As I remove my surgical scrubs, I feel like I should be like this throughout this. You practice. actually should, because you need to keep your hands sterile. What? what uh, this for the pending operation? Here we are the anatomy of a smear slash conspiracy theory. We are the anatomy of two journalists who put on costumes in yes. a questionable decision yes. made very, very quickly during a commercial break. And yet I feel very good about it. I'm better about it than I think these people should for spreading this um, ridiculous yes. garbage about Hillary Clinton. Just please tell This has tell been going on for a long time. I do not think there, there is a panoply of things that the Trump campaign has to choose from. Dementia, dysphagia, other medical terms beginning with D. I would say probably stick away from those. If you don't have a medical degree, shut up. Like, shut up. And especially even if you have a medical degree like urology. Even if you have scrubs on. Also, shut up. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> 